There must be two audio inputs if there's an input. Yeah. So, yeah. But everyone's so, got the microphones on. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, so it's just a case of. When you press it once, yeah. it prompts you to press it in the, in the next unit. Yeah. If you get the far end to someone to chime in, you, that will come out through the speaker there. Okay. Someone up the back there want to say? No, in the, in the audience. far end. Oh, okay. Yeah. Online. Yeah, the online audience. Yeah. Does someone want to hit their speaker at the moment and just come in with a bit of a sound check for us? Hello. Sound check. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we have taken off. <laughs> <laughs> but has anybody had experience using the Jabra speaker yet? Has anyone booked one out and had a go at it in their classroom? Next week. Next week? Good, good luck with it. Well, you can see it was plugged in and installed. Obviously, when you pick it up for um, delivery, it will have been uh, fully charged up and that, that'll <laughs> work. What size classroom are you talking about? Uh, uh, one in um, level nine, so those staff. Okay. Do you know what the attendance will be yet, the breakdown between student, students in the classroom and at home? Depends. It will depend on the attendance. We have 20 in class and nine online. Okay, and we, you know, just canvassing the online people to see whether that time for the physical class suits them to be online. Okay. Yeah. Are they international students? That in there are two in China mm -hmm. and others, so they might, they might be in Melbourne, but work in yeah. other parts of okay. Australia, Victoria. Good. I have another class that is bigger in Billion AP, like um, Victoria. Um, there are 74 students, I don't think all of them will come, and of them there are about six in China, so I need to cater for them. Okay, good. All right. Well, look, at any time today you want to come up here and play around, you're welcome to, because that's also part of the reason for being here. Yeah. And same goes with any of my colleagues up there. If you've got anything you want to add, just say, and we'll bring you in online. Because I guess the other thing that we need to be mindful of today and we are launching a, a new website that's going to have a lot more information again about using this equipment. We've got the YouTube channel. We'll share all those links later, which also just shows you how to set this stuff up and run it yourself. So, you know, um, and I guess the other, the big message that we're just sort of trying to put is that, you know, traditional lectures as such, um, lecture theatres, etc. we're now moving to a model where we will be teaching this concurrent style of delivery. And it's all about having yourself geared up for it, having the right equipment booked and um, really just uh, practicing your craft and developing. And I guess that's where the learning design team and us as teaching and learning specialists come into it as well. We are all about just kind of making sure your canvas shells are right and your teaching strategies are right for what comes ahead. But it sort of leans heavily on this before, during and after sort of uh, ideal that you put out a lot of good information in the week leading up potentially with some nice, short, sharp little videos that emphasise what's going to be happening. During the week, you'll have some attendance time. It will be a session like this. And then it's about also including information afterwards as well. So this is just that little um, small mic again, a uh, small camera, which does give good ability to focus on what's happening in the room. And uh, myself at the moment, since I'm talking, and if you really wanted to, you'd have that so that you've got that that's sitting just in front of me when I want to move it and place it on to look who's doing what in the room. That's more than possible. So uh, it's uh, just as a guide, we're in a room with, um, with not it's not a super technical room. It's got some data projectors in it. We're using some other gear in the room to help us, but basically it's all just about um, using the plug-in equipment. So if there's any questions about the Jabra, we're going to leave them running. We've got this camera. We've also got some Logitech gear that we're going to use today as well. 
which some of you might have seen, and a lapel mic, which we might also get going soon too, just as a chance to walk around the room with it. The other, the other point we always make, and you would have seen it on the table there, is as a backup in your room, your own phone is more than capable of logging on to um, Teams whilst you're logged in through a computer, and that gives you the ability to also go a little bit mobile in the room, truly mobile, using your mobile phone, etc., to hone in on things that you just can't quite get to. And we will do that as the session progresses. So, um, at this point now, what do we want to do next, do you think, Sergio? Did you want to move on to the... Um, yeah, the lapel mic. Samson, yeah, yeah. lapel mic. Mate, do you want to set that up? I'll just show, sort of, if I can get this camera to operate down there. So this is the desktop at the front of the room. It's a USB uh, Bluetooth um, plug-in. I need to unplug that jabber now. Uh, not necessarily, but if, if you run out of USB clients, then yeah, I'm actually running out of space. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Can I ask a question about the interface with the room audio that's set up in the, those re recently refurbished classrooms on level nine? Um, it, you know, there are two microphones there on the desk that you can pick up and run around with. They will. Yeah, you're in a fortunate position of having a, a dedicated space. Yeah. But, but how does that interface with... So we were there earlier and we set up a, um, a collaborate office session. Uh, we had it running actually through the laptop and then through the projection system, but couldn't then engage the microphones of the room. So it's as if we just, you know, there, there are two different systems of like Yes, there are two different systems. Yeah. So what, what eventually is going to have to happen in the installed spaces yeah. is that the microphones are going to feed back into your computer or a laptop. Yep. And um, that's, you're going to get the same audio that's being projected through the speaker system in the room to the far end of the audience. But for the time being, we have these ad hoc solutions um, to, to achieve that and um, yeah, once you get the opportunity to start plugging in the, the Logitech devices we've got here, they have their own speaker systems yeah. and um, they project quite well even for larger um, spaces um, and yeah, we'll, we'll demo that shortly. Yeah. Oh, that, thanks. That answers that mystery. I thought that was the camera. Yeah. I'm still sort of... Oh, well, then you can unplug the jabber, I guess, and yeah. so we'll start moving on. Okay, Okay, so we're not, may not have been activated yet. Um, can you hear me now? Oh, that's brilliant. So happy. Technology works and don't. And I just act like it's a total surprise. So is that a Bluetooth? Yes, it is. So that's a receiver yeah. and um, connected to a, uh, you know, that little dongle device. So I, I, I'll show you. I, when I disconnect it, I'll show the, the dongle. But okay, so that's really, so I can actually walk around the classroom. Hello, students. How are you today? It's so nice to see you face to face or mask to mask, as it might be. And I'm, I'm not dropping out. That's even, that's even better. Okay, so the idea with this is that um, the sound is obviously with you at all times, so you can move around the classroom. Um, the vision will have to come from as we've got it there uh, from a, 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 actually it's ideal to have a, a small camera that is in fact pointing back to the classroom. So students online can actually see you moving around the classroom. And it might be that 
a little bit later on, we're going to show you a, a different way of doing it, which is actually to use your iPhone or your phone, any phone, uh, to actually walk around with the mic as well as your your vision, okay, or your camera, and um, plug them all in together. And uh, yeah, it will make more sense when, particularly when you're actually going up to a student and maybe demonstrating something that they're actually completing or, or getting on with. Okay, let's, uh, do you want to move on to the next one and see yep. how that goes? So we'll do the next one is the Logitech. that comes with that mic, that's just a USB plug into your the side of your computer. Um, and that, that's actually it automatically pairs up with the, yeah. So Sergio's walking around the room at the moment with the dongle that operated that little plug-in mic. So that just went into the laptop and the, the receiver in the, the lapel mic picked that up. So in the meantime, we are just swapping over now to the um, one of the uh, desktop units, as we call it. So that that's the uh, Logitech Connect. So the Logitech Connect um, has a rechargeable battery on board. So hopefully this one's fully charged. There's only one lead required, which is just your USB cable. No, no need to plug in additional power unless you've run out of battery. Um, so yeah, it's just the one USB cable into your laptop. And um, hopefully it will default across. Um, or not, in which case, um, Peter is going to have to go to the device setting. Yep. And um, what I'll get you to do in device settings is um, the connect as your camera, as your microphone, and also as your speaker. If it isn't already, it sounds like it might already. It's just swapping over, um, and that's it's now coming through the, um, the Connect Logitech Connect device. So again, that's got some really good microphone capability. Um, we can't take how much further forward can we move that off the lead on that one? Well, you don't necessarily need to move it because oh, okay. you've got the remote control, yep. so you can then actually just use the the zoom control. Want to focus on audience members around the room. And if we could get um, another comment from someone in the room, and then maybe we'll get someone to call in and see how all that operates. Who joined us down the back there? Yeah, hi, I'm um, Alan. Hello, Alan. How are you? Uh, good, thanks. Good. So I'll be starting uh, class on Monday, so uh, I'm ready for the summer. Good Okay. Mm. Which which one did you book? Uh, I booked in uh, Jabra uh, oh, yeah. data and uh, microphone and camera. Okay, fantastic. Yep, that will work well. Uh, I should pick them up in the now. Yeah. <laughs> After we finish with them, <laughs> might be a chance just um, just to. With Mark's been really helpful with us helping us set up, and so the AV loans guys um, are sort of there and available for the bookings. But you know, you know, I suppose it's it's you're there to help as well, send people away with the information they need. So, so that's good. What um what uh, what so people book online through your email address, AB Loans? Uh, yeah. So um, if you need information, the easiest way would be to just simply email us, and we can uh, direct you to any of our websites. Yep. Um, and our request form. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, our email address is simply avloans, one word, yep. at rmit.edu.au. And located in building eight, level seven, just opposite the elevators. So, uh, 
I know you've been really busy already and Dean's been purchasing a lot of equipment and there's a fair bit more on order. Uh, unfortunately, it's a lot like a lot of things that we're all trying to buy at the moment. It's a bit short supply, but it's coming. So that's one of the most important things, I think, that we can find. So, um, yeah, just we'll just drop that back on the table a minute. And if anyone's got any questions about that Logitech unit that's sitting out there in... Uh, at home or in your office today, please come on the line. We do want to hear a little bit of conversation coming in through the Logitech from people uh, working from home today. So one of the other things about um, the Logitech Connect is that um, you can actually get extension uh, cables for them as well. So at the moment we've got a about a two meter cable. Um, and so that could be, there's some flexibility, but it's a bit restrictive if you wanted to put, a, put the camera on a, I don't know, on a 45 degree angle pointing down to the whole class, it, it could be a bit restricted. So you can get USB extension um, connects. I'm, I'm not okay. sure if Ruth, Ruth wants to jump on the line and say hello. Good morning, Ruth, how are you? Oh, oh good, thank you. I actually, you asked for questions and I had a question. Go for it. Excellent. Um, with the, the Logitech, um, I'm somebody who likes to be sort of self-sufficient. Um, and, you know, this says more about me than the system. Is it realistic to think perhaps I sh should buy one for myself to, so I can basically go from classroom to classroom and not worry about bookings and things like that? Or are they outrageously expensive? Well, I guess I would I would suggest you try the system first. I mean, people, they're not going to be long-term loans, are they, Mark? So they're going to be available. People, I mean, that's a, there's limits to what we can do. But, you know, if you thought that that was how you wanted to prepare for your yeah. own... And I know some people have spent their spent money of their own already, which I guess there's tax deductions, etc. And if that's the way we move forward, it'll be an individual choice. But I guess I would suggest trying the system first, make your bookings in advance. If you if your classes are scheduled for the semester ahead and you know you're gonna to want to Logitech every Wednesday between I don't okay. know, two and three, I'd, I'd, yeah, yeah. I'd book it out personally. Yeah. Oh, so if I did that, it would be there for me every, it, um, it's not first in, best, best, first in best dressed or whatever it is. <laughs> well, that's why I'd, I'd probably try to lock in bookings for, okay. you know, into, the, into the weeks ahead. And I, I can that that that. Mark, If someone made the connection already and knew exactly they'd done their scheduling, they know what day and what time they want it, you, you'd take bookings for the whole semester ahead? Yeah, so it would still be um, on a sort of like a for the sessions themselves. Hmm. So if you say have a session on Tuesday, Wednesday, we'll load it out Tuesday morning and have it returned on Thursday morning. Okay. okay. Uh, then that way we can spread the love of the, yeah. the limited units that we have. So available. I'd rather do, rather do that than spend my own money. But just a question, how much would one cost, just out of interest? Do we know? Uh, oh, the... Oh, Sorry. No, 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 no. Um, Ruth, there's actually quite a range of prices that we've got on the table here. That first little camera that, <clears throat> we, we sh that we've been showing is... Uh, uh, from Microsoft, it's hundred dollars, but I saw it on, um, I think it was uh, one of the other online shops for around sixty, seventy dollars. Okay. So you know, if you look around, you can get a, a better price than the manufacturers. Right. The other one, that, the one that we're actually using now, the Logitech connects around uh, around the five fifty mark. Oh, there, I think that's a little expensive. <laughs> yeah, so it gets. I mean, but you know, we, what I'm trying to highlight is that there are really big differences in prices, and the one that we're going to show you. Uh, which is a step up from the one we've got now, the Logic Tech Connect. The next one up is the Meetup, and that's about fifteen hundred dollars, something like that, fifteen eighteen hundred bucks. So there's a variation in prices online as well, and um, uh, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so you know, fr from sixty dollars to fifteen hundred dollars, and okay. choose your grade, choose your. Okay. your Thank you. I might come and book something first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We'll get you set up in this room for a play, Ruth. I should also just say, Ruth, um, I work with Ruth, and she was she came into this room yesterday when we were setting up and getting ready to go. And um, her advice to us was, and so far we haven't had to do it, but I, sh I really do just want to show this for a second. Just one sec. Oh, 
what is that noise? It's gone. Oh. All I can hear is horrible noise, like it's in a submarine. <laughs> I don't want anybody to think that was my fault. <laughs> well, Ruth, what, what I, all I was going to allude to was, and if you could just make that camera follow me for a minute, and maybe for that very moment I needed to follow Ruth's advice more carefully, and I would have just said, use use a um, have, a white, have butcher's paper ready. <laughs> That's a butcher's paper moment for me. So, um, and it's not to say you can't put the camera on your butcher's paper if everything else failed, like my attempt to bring my phone into the mix and did. But having said that, somehow I've recovered it. And I guess that's one of the lessons in concurrent delivery. So when we do want to introduce a phone later, I'll get someone else to do it. <laughs> Thanks for the question. Thank you. <laughs> Might be a chance now. I think we've had a good look at the Logitech. It's not a bad piece of equipment for the price. It's a fantastic piece, actually, with the remote that comes with it, etc. It might be a good chance to... Oh, we've got Amanda on the line as well, so we'll take that call. Hi, Amanda. Hi. Um, apologies for my non-work attire. I'm really enjoying the working from home today. Um, <laughs> just a question. I'm a sessional lecturer, so I only come in once a semester. Um, like, am I, is there someone in the school that sets it, like, I was sort of thinking I'd rock up into a meeting room, the class would be there, you know, I'd have to do a bit of pre-work to make sure my laptop synced, mm. and then I'd get going <laughs> as a lecturer. But am, am I expected to actually book, set up the room, and, or what's the... Well, let's, let's go back a couple of steps and we'll see if we can work that out for you. Tell us um, what area you're working in, what building you'd be teaching in, etc. Yeah. Uh, I'm in the School of Construction and Property Manager Management for post grads. Okay, so that's your area, Ian. Is that right? Um, no, it's a different school. Uh, <laughs> it is Alan's area. The, the same table will nominate a room number. Yeah. So that once we know the room number, you can get the, uh, the setup of each room. So yeah, you've got there is some rooms prepared up there and you will be able to book it. I'd probably suggest a, a visit beforehand just to run through it or to watch a colleague who's who's um, you know used it a couple of times, etc. Yeah. So it looks like we've already uh, you know buddied up here, and Alan's going to be our guru, our informal guru. That yeah. no pressure. Right? <laughs> Good Hello, to Alan. see you again and back in Australia, Alan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look, I just checked uh, my room uh, just yesterday for the first time, and it's pretty good in building 13. I'm not sure it would be the same one that you are allocated, but um, um, it uh, should be indicated on the timetable. Thank you. Thanks very much. Great. All right. Is okay. it time to swing to the bigger device? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give that a go. So, uh, unlike the Logitech Connect, the Meetup um, requires. Uh, a power connection as well as a USB connection and what we can also do after that is uh, include the expansion microphone which um, is going to massively improve the audio quality um, for um, people who are online um, to hear audience uh, larger audience members around the room <coughs> So, of course, keeping in mind, we're swapping between five pieces of equipment today. Normally, you'd have your room set up to run the way you want to run, and it'd be a lot more seamless. So, so forgive us the, um, I'll call it some interruptions and, the, and what, what might appear like a little bit of trouble. It's only trouble because we're using every piece of equipment available today, and um, that just adds to the complexity. But if you went into a room that has been purpose set up for this, or you went in with normal preparation time to set up the Logitech, you would be ready to roll from the moment the class starts, which is obviously. What's the name of this one? This is called the Logitech Meetup. Meetup. So we've just been looking at the Connect, 
and uh, now we're taking a step up to the meter. So we'll keep the the meter, uh, the expansion microphone out of the mix for now. And um, after we've got it all synced in and ready to go, we'll um, plug in the, the expansion microphone, which will demonstrate for the people in the far end um, how much the the audio quality improves. It's a uh, omnidirectional microphone with a really long lead, and um, it's great for group dynamics um, and uh, yeah, conversations and and uh, conferences. But also could could work uh, quite effectively in um, in a classroom environment. <clears throat> Um, so how many people do you think, Mark, would be a good number to have in the room? The uh, I think the meetup could work effectively with a good 20 people. Um, and you'll see in a second, um, this has the, the camera and the speaker inbuilt um, and, and also the microphone. Um, another great feature is the uh, camera itself um, has a face detection. So when you power it up, it actually picks up all the faces in the room and then frames, pan tilts and zooms to get the best fit for the number of people who are in the space. So if you're in a boardroom environment and there's only people sitting on one side of the table, it will pan across and zoom in those people that are just sitting there. There's people on the other side, It'll zoom out and pick up everyone. So, so it does what I'm doing now. <laughs> Automatically. But uh, you can also um, get the remote control and um, control the camera angle. So once we've got that um, connected, uh, what we can do is to avoid confusion. We'll unplug the connect all together. Unplug the live cam all together. Okay. All right, so we just kind of switch over. And so I can uh, use the remote control to fix up the frame if, it, if the AI doesn't do what I'm wanting it to do. Um, soon we're going to be getting cameras that actually have a 360-degree field of vision. But, um, yeah, forget I said that until it actually turned up. All right, look, again, I'll just put the call out. If someone wants to call in, we'd just like to hear the sound quality from that. Yep. Sounds good. The sound is good? Yep. That's great. Thank you. Um, but, yeah, if we get someone from the far end to chime in, we can hear the, um, the speaker volume. Yeah. The unit itself. Jane just kindly said it was okay. Jane, would you jump on the line and just tell us how it sounds and you can tell us a little bit about how you hope to teach concurrently too. Um, yep, sure. Um, I don't know who was speaking just then, if they were one of the people who was far away, but that's it sounded fine. There's a little bit of an echo still, but nothing like the first device that was used. Um, I'm with RMIT training and we're um, planning to teach concurrently with very small numbers of students on site, I think. Okay, well, you sound crystal clear in our room, which is really good. And um, so hopefully it is nice and clear at the other end. This is a, this is a higher grade piece of equipment, so, you know. Yeah, you'll probably see, notice the, the camera quality has improved significantly from the last cameras that we've been using. Um, it's got optical zoom, so you can really zoom in to the people at the far end of the room. <laughs> no where to hide. <laughs> and uh, and it's not it's not digitized, it's um it's optical zoom. Um, I might sound a little bit off in the distance as I get closer, but um, if we use the expansion microphone, um, which has a nice long lead, you can put that uh, closer to the centre of the room and you're going to get a much better pickup of all the different participants in the space. Yeah. 
So we'll just plug that in. Yeah, there's a wire running in the middle of the room. Sadly, there's a wire. It's not wireless. Jabra. Pull the trick wire. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you can use this in combination in, in any number of combinations. So you could use the Jabra. Um, it just adds another layer of complexity for trying to select that as your camera and this as your microphone and speaker. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we've got all those options available. It just depends on how sophisticated and tricky you want to get. No. All right. Is there any questions from anyone in the room or anybody um, working from home today on any of the equipment we've just looked at? Uh, just uh, while we're waiting to see if anyone wants to jump on. I have what I heard is not an awkward question. No, go. <laughs> um, what, what happens, Mark, if people don't bring equipment back in time? Uh, it will be duly noted. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll just leave it as an empty thread like that. <laughs> uh, one other thing I'll just quickly note is um, if we want to have a little bit of confidentiality, um, you can mute. So yeah, I'll just switch that back on. And Frederick, please, how are you today? Uh, I'm good, thank you very much. Uh, very, very good that we're having this meeting, so I want to thank you for that. First of all, just take my hand down, how do I do that? Yeah. All right, I just want to ask, actually, because I've been in a session with Dean Brooks, uh, you know, earlier uh, that we had at the campus, and is this Jabra speaker thing versus, you know, the speaker that you have in the Logitech meetup? I think the Logitech meetup was very nice when I was in that meeting. But I'm going to be very open and just sort of work with what is there. I was just wondering, is it enough with that Logitech Meetup speaker that you put out now with the cable on the tables? If I have about 20 students or 15 students, or do you think I need the Jabra to get that sort of better quality, if you like? Can I answer that? Yeah, go. Yeah. Um, no. <laughs> Who is speaking? Frederick. Frederick, hi. This is Sergio. Yes, hi. Um, uh, we had some experience with this um, device uh, last year, and um, so that, that's the Logitech Meetup, which is what we've got. There we go. <laughs> which is what we've got and we're using at the moment. And we, in fact, had a room that was twice the size of this. Remember that, Peter? And um, we were able to get excellent reception um, and, and quality of uh, vision is really good. In a, in a room that's actually twice the size of this with about 20 odd people. Yep. Uh, and we also had some people online at the same time and it, it didn't uh, falter at all. So I, I could recommend it for that. And that little speaker, by the way, that's actually on the, on the table, it's actually a lot more powerful than it seems. So, you know, it, it does make a big difference. Uh, it's probably about a five meter cable. Um, and when you extend that to the far, as far as it can go, it can actually capture quite a lot of detail. So that's probably the one that, particularly in a big room, that's probably the one that you want. It's a better quality right. one. Thank you very much, Sergio. Yeah, the other two, the other two of the uh, Jabra speakers that we showed a little bit earlier, um, those two there, they're also fantastic in terms of the, um, uh -oh, not following, <laughs> thing, following the camera. There you go. Um, they're also really good in terms of um, how far they can be connected to each other. They, they cover quite a lot of range as well. And the bonus of that is that there's a, a little speaker as well as a microphone uh, in each of them. So uh, the audience can, you know, hear afar. So, yeah, I, I'll just chime in and say that um, probably the best combination you could have um, so far for quality um, with the devices we have so far would be using the meetup in conjunction with the Jabras. Um, if you want to show the cluster, if it's important, not always it's important, I guess. Okay. Yeah, if that was if Thank that you. was your goal, if if the if the dynamic is yeah, if you need the camera, yeah, if you need the camera, um, but if it's not really a matter of needing a camera to to pick up everyone in the space because you're really just talking to the, the slides, 
then um, and there isn't really much audience interaction whatsoever, you could just get away with using the lapel microphone. No, I guess sometimes you want students to speak, so that's okay, but maybe it's not that important to see them, but to hear it's important, you know, for the other students. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's it's definitely good for the the um, far end experience, um, the people who are online to be able to see the people who are chiming in as well. Yeah, um, that's a good point. And if that's not possible, you could always just request students to Come. raise their hand, say their name, mm. and yes. then ask the question. Yeah, you know, so that's. No, it's a bit simple. Which is about good teaching, practice yeah. and communication, getting people involved in the discussion. Yeah. Especially early on as well in the in the semester when people don't know each other too. Yeah. Especially for those that are off campus. So it does require just thinking about it. Yeah. What's the angle on the lens if it's the uh, the camera is set up like on the side of the wall? So would it capture like 180 degrees or uh, it's a slightly wide angle lens. Um, I'm not sure of the actual millimetres, but um, just looking at it, I'd probably say it's around a 24 millimetre wide angle. Um, and then it can zoom into, I don't know, maybe around 100 mil, 105 mil, if you're, if you're talking uh, the photography yeah, lingo. Camera. Very good. Someone else has joined us in the room. Welcome, as we're talking inclusivity. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm David. Um, yeah, I'm teaching um, next week in an intensive um, one of the OHS course, courses. So we're doing a, a model that, that we're hoping to get some online delivery at the same time. Um, so yeah, I was, wasn't sure maybe just a camera or something on, on me would be easiest. Um, but I was yeah, hoping this, this scares me a little, the technology when it doesn't work and you feel quite isolated in the classroom. So I thought best to come along. Yeah, right, good. Well, look, we've, you know, we've, we've shown a lot of the equipment and at some point soon for any of our live guests today, maybe we'll, we'll turn the room over to you and just play it out. I think as far as we, we've got a few slides we want to go through, but we might just switch, switch it around a little bit soon and just say, hey, you know, it's not just about me standing up here. There's others if they want to come up and, and plug in, select a camera, or try try using the remote or zooming, or you know, just talking to camera. Have have a go. Yeah. So if you want to if you want to do that, please think about that. Uh, I saw. Oh no, Ruth put her hand down now. That's all right. If anyone's got any other questions, oh, um, I'll put a hand up. Yeah. Um, what one of the great things that we found out about you know, experimenting with, with all the equipment is that it's actually really easy to plug and play, if you like. Um, so Teams um, is pairs up automatically, or it seems to pair up automatically with the Logitech equipment. So it's almost, you know, it, it knows you've plugged it in. It then sets it up for it uh, on its own. Um, so you prepare yourself for a little bit of lead time for that to happen. That, Don't panic. Cause that's it. it. Takes that second or two. Yeah. Ruth has put her hand up again. Hello again, Ruth. I promise I won't turn my mobile on. <laughs> no, um, I just wanted to share an experience that I had with the group in relation to muting. Um, it was pointed out earlier that you can actually mute one group or the other. And as um, and Peter mentioned inclusivity as well. And it, just as a matter of teaching practice, one of the things when teaching and current is that we need to remember that turning somebody's access off to um, information or to sound um, can make them feel very isolated. So if for some reason you were going to mute, it's really important to clarify what you're doing and why you're doing, because otherwise it can cause almost a them and us effect. Now, I know today's about equipment, but I just thought that was a good piece of learning for me the other day. Um, <laughs> And um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that. So just if you're going to mute for some reason, you need to be clear as to why and know what the consequences are for people. It will not work also, Ruth, because they uh, this will be recorded. So yeah. it's muted, it will be recorded on, uh, you can, when you will rewatch it. Yeah. Thanks, Ruth. And Colleen? Yeah, well, um, I guess Ruth, Ruth's point is that, um, 
you know, even if you are recording it and you assume the student will go back and, and hear whatever they missed out on, the point is that they, you need to remember that these people on the other side of the screen are actually in the room with you. And so you need to be treating them in exactly the same way that you would treat them if they were physically, okay? Um, and RMIT Online, actually at the moment, are looking at um, assigning someone in a meeting or, such as this as a, um, I think they're calling them a digital champion, so that they would be the person who tries to be remaining alert as to who is, you know, trying to put their hand up or who has not been able to say something or who might be muted or can't hear, etc. So that someone's always trying to be alert to ensure that everybody is in the space together and inclusive. Thank you. And Frederick just asked a question about that. So if anyone here has got some thoughts on, um, on inclusivity as well, please chime in. And two points, yes, we've got um, We've got a concurrent website, which I'm sure the link's been shared already, or it will be at the end, as will the slides we've prepared. And the other thing I would say too is our DSC Teaching and Learning YouTube channel does include all the how-to videos that Marcus Picaro has put together on using this equipment as well as another practice run. And um, yeah, it, it's going to be a mindset change, and we might call these sort of sessions like this. We might we might schedule one in another five or six weeks. And then we'll have a much better form uh, forum for feedback from teaching staff and, you know, they can share some of their successes and maybe some of the things they've had to work on. So I think we might, uh, as an ongoing communication, we'll, we'll do another session like this um, to, uh, to do that. And uh, I just saw a, a comment in the chat then that Buddy's online. And don't forget, you can, you will be setting up your breakout groups. I'm sure you've already used them, etc. cetera. So, um, yeah. And uh, the great idea with the digital champions, I like that. Yes, thank you. All right. Um, all right, well, look, we've covered a lot of our stuff. We've got plenty more time online, and I'm, I'm looking at my guests here. If anyone wants to come up and have a bit of a play, yes, off the back. I've just got a question. So the camera that we're looking at at the moment, which is the long one, mm. what is it called? Meetup. Meetup. Digitech Meetup. 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 Yeah. And how many do you have? And I can't find it on the loan loan items list. No, we haven't. We don't advertise it at this point because it's a new um, item. So uh, if you go off of the um, learning and teaching website, which has the breakdown of concurrent devices, um, that's where it's, uh, the, the different devices available at AD loans are listed. Um, I think part of the reason is A, it's new, but also because our catalogue is student visible and we want to have um, our equipment exclusively available to staff. Um, so, what was the question? <laughs> so, how many do you have? How many do you have? Seven, so far. Seven. But we've got, we've got uh, a good ten coming in, so it we just depends on in the supply. Um, yep. The supply chain. No, sometimes you get there. Uh, everyone at the moment. Yes, yes. And so can't find Yeah. So, yeah. Hopefully, we've got a good. That's time. If things are available, we should be able to share it around. You can look at the We'll get more if the demand is there. Yeah. 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 The piece of paper I held up before is our PowerPoint slides that we'll share with everyone that was either here today or um, working from home, and it's got detail on the proper name, etc., of all the equipment. So that was me trying to be interactive, walking around in front of the camera before. <laughs> yep. All right. So we will go back to our um, PowerPoint slides for a second and just explain again about AV loans, what they've got, and um, how, to, how to use that. And the other thing that's worth talking about is our production team, Marcus Picaro's area. And again, you don't have to write anything down from this, just reiterating what will come up in the, um, in the information we send out to you. And a few of our little tips that we're running with at the moment on um, preparing to teach concurrently. So I, I alluded to this before, but the before, during and after approach. Shooting your short, sharp videos to include on Canvas that will um, give students a bit of a, uh, a, a feel for what's coming, but try to keep it fairly simple. 
and in that you should always you know go through what's going to be this what the learning outcomes are um, explain upcoming assessments and and any feedback on assessments to date or classroom um, a set of notes to prepare what's come up every week and i guess i'm all about if i've got to use a powerpoint i like to keep it pretty simple um, you'll notice um, i'm just reiterating that i'm using um, a fairly dark back a, a dark um, font a dark color on the on the words a light background and fairly big i've gone a minimum 20 points so that everyone can see it no matter where it is and we've talked about inclusivity and i guess one of the great ways of doing that it doesn't have to be about what we do in the classroom it can also be about um, using canvas discussions having um, announcements regularly that are allowed um, that allow content con uh, content to come back in from the students and having discussion points in your videos as well, because that will reiterate any problems that people might be having at the moment. So that's that. This is the list of, um, of uh, links, uh, email addresses and links for things that we've talked about today. Again, this will get sent to you, but our YouTube channel is a beauty and uh, information on using all this stuff is on there. So that's really, really important. And um, our teaching and learning website. And Press Play Studios, if I can just mention that briefly, that's a really good resource. If you want to prepare short, sharp videos, it's a really good way to produce something of a really high quality. And that's on campus here in the city. So that's certainly uh, something else that's worth looking at. Isn't on Canvas? All right. Yeah, it's the same as Studio on Canvas. Canvas, Canvas Studio is a really, really good way to um, produce, you know, you've, we've all used it for our welcome videos, yeah. but you can use that to screen capture and talk over it, or yeah. you can do it face to face if you want, but yeah. So, but the previous slide or? Oh, Press Play Studios. No, that's an actual physical resource here in the city with some really good cameras and editing capability. Okay. A production, a video yeah. production studio. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, well worth a look at. So we've covered a lot of the ground we wanted to cover today, and I'm conscious that we're down for two hours, and I, I am still hoping that I'm going to have some volunteers step up to the front of the room here and have a play with stuff. Um, we can do that, you know, you've got, there's nothing you can hurt or play or break. Um, if we can, if you just wanted to get a feel for presenting in class, or we can switch back to one of the walk around microphones or something like that, we're happy to. Maybe you could plug your phone in for a second, Sergio. Just uh, use Some that. Feedback? As, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that sort of feedback, please. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll just I'll have a quick look at the um, any of the information that's come in from people. Just if there's any anything we should respond to in the chat. Yeah. Uh, yes, keep laptops on charge. A oh, really good point. Thank you, Kathleen. The last thing you want to do, I've got mine plugged in today. I didn't want that going flat on me. And I've got one of the newer ones, which that can happen. Great idea with Digital Champions. Thank you. And um, yeah, I think we're coming together well. Ian, what are you going to play with? Uh, I'm going to see on the next uh, Okay. Well, I'll just tell people watching from home now, we're going to go to a, you can turn that around if you like, and I'll stop. So I think um, we're going to go to a bit more of an interactive workshop space now. So it might become a little disjointed for those at home, but we're handing over the room to the people that are here. So you should have come. <laughs> you should have come. You should have been here. You should have been here. <laughs> so um, yeah. So here we go. Um, we might hear that in a minute, and we are moving to just an open space. Do you have any other points? No, that is that. I love the videos. No, but I can just say that we are happy to take your calls and and answer any queries you've got. We can take you to a different meeting if you need some one-on-one uh, -on -one uh, advice. Uh, so that's another. So as you can see, we've moved over to a it's like a studio okay, environment. Yeah. So enjoy. Try and connect. Yep. So we need the. When it gets that noisy in there, how 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 loud do I have to shout to be heard? You're coming in loud and clear. Yep, you're loud Beautiful. And clear. That's great. I was just thinking, you know, if suddenly all the action got 
You're loud over there, and I needed to ask something. Are you back? You're part of the group, loud and clear. You have a bit of a link. Trying to plug in the speakers. The actual microphone is that big thing on the table there. It's actually right next to the camera. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah, I just moved it. Yeah, no, it's right next to the camera. So it's picking me up. Um, and this is the one on the five meter cord. Yeah. So. So I can move really far away. Actually, coming out, you were coming in loud and clear too. We, even when it was on the desk over near the computer, that was great. Absolutely. So it's really sensitive. Um, but the main thing we were really uh, wondering today is the quality and whether it actually uh, you guys can hear us clearly. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Total success today, I think. Yeah, well, with my band, yeah. but I guess if you had a... So, yeah, so that's that's actually the fancy one. That's the expensive um, device. But the others were working quite well too, so we're, we're pretty impressed with the whole range. What's the thing in the middle that looks like a Dalek? Ah, oh, this is my favourite. Yeah, that's actually a little microphone. It's, it's really good quality, um, and uh, that that just plays straight into your into your laptop. Uh, you can get an extension cord for these as well, so that might be the go. But if you want to walk around the room. Yeah. Um, the lapel, lapel mics are the best. So that, that one's, is this one connected? If you want to walk around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is the yeah. one that you're coming together. Okay, you've um, done that one. It's all really good fun. I'm having a ball. Uh, a, this one. <laughs> I still don't know where this little thing goes. And, uh, well, this, you know, the same <laughs> That's always dangerous. And then, you know, a couple of days later you go, oh, evidently it's just a piece of junk and you throw it away. And then you find it's really <laughs> integral to something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They, so once they, those two turn green, you know. All right. They, I'm going to say goodbye now and okay. go and do something else. Nice yeah. to see you all having a good time. Good to have you on board. So then we see you soon. Bye. 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 Yeah. So what we're going to be doing in the, um, the team settings is saying it's the one. This is the camera I'm looking at. The meter. And, but for your speaker and your microphone, the Japanese. And this connects, that's got a USB connection, is it? Yes. Yeah, and okay. Coming back. Yeah, back into that. And it's the USB stand one. Well, okay, so I need a adapter. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's why I don't want to do it. Okay, Frederick's online again. Yeah, great. Well, just be happy to hear from you, Frederick, and tell us how what yeah. the what it's all looking like at the moment. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, I, I will certainly do that. It's very interesting, you know, because you can really participate in what you're doing and what's going on, which I think is great. So the interaction level of the things are fantastic. Yeah, what I'm curious about is actually now then to I understand everyone is trying things out, and I wish I could have been there. But yeah. it's really just to see an example of a teacher going for it. You know what I mean? Standing I there, presentation, uh, and then sort of, you know, using the equipment, and then people in the room are sort of asking questions. I don't know if you had planned for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So and last question Do you use the stationary computer in the classroom again at Brunswick, or should I bring my laptop? I would probably, I'm using my own laptop today because I'm more familiar with it and I've got my stuff saved on it and as you yep. know you've normally got the standard uh, plug arrangement so that you can um, yep. you can bring stuff in, so yes. And look, I'll be honest with you, we didn't want to put anyone on the spot today and say, of course, would, you no do worries. A, would you do a dummy lecture for us and I guess that's what Sergio and I have tried to do. And. Um, it was always going to be a bit hit and miss because we were plugging and playing so much. But overall, I've been really happy with it. And I hope it's just showing that each piece of equipment's got its own strengths and weaknesses. 
but you know that's up to you to try. If you want to make your way in here one day, this room that we're in at the moment is going to become a bit of a, uh, a training room. It's going to be set up with some of the equipment so that you could come and use it with some help from AV loans or us, you know, whoever's around. And it just give, it would give you a chance to plug and play and you could potentially have some of your colleagues watching from the other end and it would give you a chance to think about how you want to, where you want to be in the room, how you want to use the room. But I, the Logitech we're using now, if you want to walk around the room with that, it does tend to work pretty well. I'll come around in front of the camera now for the purpose of the demonstration. But I could be here, I could be working, I could be running a studio, I could be working yep, yep, yep. And, and I would have, I'd ask my students to join me. We'd just make it into whatever we wanted All right. it to be. So, uh, I, that's I like that's fantastic. That so we're going to have and, uh, and, a room like you know after a, think, after a little know. while. And I must admit this is for me already. But we're going to. I already don't feel very conscious students. about the camera. And so, um, there's only a couple of We've got online. lots of discussions yeah. now, so it's probably okay. a bit nuts. Okay. But so this I mean, is yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries. Like, Thank you so much, Peter. Thanks for all. I just really, really think it's good to be in this session because you pick up things anyway. So thank you. Yeah, you've got two online. Well, I reckon these ones are yeah. probably a much better fit because you can put them around the room. Yeah. They'll be synced to your laptop. And it's actually, there's I'll a use them for the tutorials as yeah. well. So that's a little tiny USB yeah. connector that goes on your computer. Um, and uh, that's on. And this one, you should just be able to. There we go. Uh, See, I watched the YouTube video. Yeah. Yeah. So they 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 just sync themselves up, and uh, that one comes out and it just sticks on. Yeah. <laughs> If it hasn't synced up already, this team will automatically sync these up. Oh, so when you're in a meeting, you can start your own and then set it up like five or ten minutes. So So it is working. Uh, if we had this time, yeah, you would be able to see what's going on. Oh, yeah. 
We've had a question um, from Nicoletta. Yes, these will plug and play in, in any format computer. I've seen them run on Apple. Um, same thing, so no problem with that. They're all Apple friendly, PC friendly, and uh, no, really good. So I'm not yeah. sure how many. Oh, yeah, we've still got a few uh, online. So Hopefully, um, uh, you're just getting a sense of the interactivity and the conversation in the room. We've got people trying all sorts of things at the moment. I'll keep an eye on the chat, but otherwise, if, um, if all our yabbering's too much for you, and it's time you want to leave, okay. please. Um, Keep in touch with us and we'll forward all the information out that's relevant to today's session. Uh, yeah, so you've got to work together and do that. Do it like this. Um, yeah, so uh, that would be my suggestion would be borrow them. Um, yeah, so yeah, that should be yeah. you've got. Get them working. Uh, uh, Kathleen, I'll follow up on your query and put an answer to that in, um, in Teams to you later. There's a little bit of fiddling around as far as getting them all synced in. Um, alternatively, you could just use the Teams 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 yeah, you know, yeah, I was going to change it to that. Yeah. Try it out yeah. before you yeah. 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 uh, yeah. I'm actually I'm going to take it to the. Okay, uh, so, so I, need I, need I think this was actually got it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we've got you booked in today. And I'm going to test them Friday after the class. No, so, 